got you got some sweaty hands. Yeah, man. It's a sign of intelligence. Don't want to overhydrate your hands. You know, here we are. Good mythical more. Put, it's happening. Are you? You want me to tell you the deal? Or sure, go ahead. On? I'm not moving on. Um, I actually had a prescription in high school to dry saw. <laughs> this is true. My hands can be clammy, um, and it was a problem on the basketball court. <laughs> you know, <laughs> as you know, I'm pretty good at basketball. Oh. It was at one point, set a high school record that no oh. one has broken in 20 years, not to brag or anything. Oh. But I did have a problem sometimes oh. when people would pass me the ball, it would just oh. go right through my hands because of the, the sweat. Oh. And what's the cause of this? You actually had oh. to go to a doctor because of it? Extreme intelligence. Oh. Your brain works really hard and it makes oh. and this, this, the sweat's gotta escape somewhere. No, it's just some oh. people have more sweat glands on their hands. Like, I, for oh. instance, even though it has been pointed out to me very, oh. by many comments that I had pit oh. stains in an episode last week, <laughs> Bye. I actually don't sweat a whole lot under my arms. Bye. Like if I go out and run and stuff, the Bye. sweat st spots will not form here. They'll form Bye. like here, and then and like here, and I get like under your gloves. My hand, my extremities get Bye. sweaty. Hands and feet will get sweaty. You know, I can't Bye. wear like Crocs. It'll be like a swamp in Bye. there <laughs> for, for reals. You know, so um, your feet get real sweaty too. Ball. Yeah. Did you put dry saw on your feet? No, because I wasn't trying to catch a basketball with them. And did it work? If I played soccer, I probably would have. Did it work? Yeah, so all, my, I was like, Dad, I gotta do something about this. He was like, let me look into this. And he's like, Stanley McQuaid, you know, the doctor, Irish doctor that we, we went to for all. He's Irish? Irish. Went to for all ailments. Writes you a prescription for antibiotics. You just call him on the phone. He, he would, uh, he'd be like, he was like, I found something for him. It's called dry saw. I gotta write a prescription. I found for... something for you. It's dry saw. And I swear it, it was just alcohol. I mean, it had to just be alcohol and a little it bottle. It was a little white said, bottle. I remember. And you just squeeze it on there and rub it on there, and it smelled like alcohol. And then it dried your hands out. I'd come over you... to your house and drink it. Yeah. Mm, okay. When you weren't looking. And then you go. Well, there wasn't a whole lot to go around. It was literally that much, less than an airplane bottle. And anyway. I, but I don't do that anymore because I don't care, you know? Well, you but know what? But anytime I hold your hand, which is about once every year when I try to grab you on Good Mythical Morning. Um, it's happening more often. You you complain about this it. This wheel. You just really need to, you need to let go of it. Well, it's, and just there, it's, like, it. it's like a lake effect on your hand. It's not it? that bad. It's dramatic. No, it could be so much I'm, worse. I'm surprised that it's not shiny. I don't, um, see, look, I mean, look, it's not. In an effort to. It's uh, not wet. It's not it's, wet. You actually dried them at some point. No, you know, this is how they always are. It's not wet, it's just, it, hold my hand. See, it feels wet. Yeah. It's not wet. It does. <laughs> it's not wet, it's just the temperature of the skin, yeah. man. It's a combination of things. You're, you're, well, you have a in, an effort, in an effort to, uh, to smooth this over, I've created some optical illusions oh, that I'm good. gonna present here on this table. Check this out. A little painter's tape, look at that. I'm gonna put, Put it here on the table here. Hmm. Look at it. It's like a. It's not really working. It is working. No, it's still on the right angle. It needs to be further back. Like, don't don't give it away. Slide it around. Like that. Oh, there it is. More. There. More. Hold on. No, you're not. It's not, It's got to become a complete circle. I mean, it's got to become. That's pretty good right there. Whoa. That's it right there. Now reach out. It's still a little flat. Reach out and grab that. What I was saying was, is if you do this, <clears throat> you gotta create the right angle, see? Yeah, right, there you go. But your hand behind it gives it away. <laughs> How about my jeans behind? Oh, so, oh, oh. <laughs> Looks like you oh, gotta- Oh, there it is, look. You gotta roll a painter tape. That your painter tape is gonna roll off of that p piece of paper. What about this one? I've got a Rubik's Cube. Look at this painter's tape I got. Look at that. Suck. I mean, oh, that, look how big it got. Suck. That Rubik's Cube right there looks real. No, it doesn't. It looks like a disproportionate one. It looks pretty real, but. I can just reach out and grab that thing. Here we go. <laughs> that one's better. Let me see if I can make you it. You want, don't move it, please. You want that, you want this Rubik's Cube to be real. 
You want to just reach out and grab it and pick it up. So it's like, nope, look at that. Whoa, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. See, you start to believe. Let me go back in the background so you can make it happen. Incidentally, we've got one of those as a prop in main channel video coming out very soon. We don't call it the main channel anymore. We just call it Red and Link channel. Oh. That's not right. It's too tall. It's not working. Oh, oh. Whoa. Bring it back. No, rotate it back towards you. More, more, more. That's too more, big. Too more. Tall. Keep going, keep going, keep going. There you go. Oh, look at this Rubik's Cube. I got balance on this sheet of paper. It's kind of <laughs> tall. <laughs> but bring it back even further. You're not going to make it floppy. Oh, it's a, it's a jello Rubik's Cube. Imagine it as a jello Rubik's Cube. And then I'm gonna reach out and I'm not gonna actually grab it. I'm gonna, re it's gonna seem like I'm grabbing it. Don't touch the jello. Uh. Oh. Nope. Whoop. Whoop. That's good. Yeah, that's good. That's good. And what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna mail this to one of you. What? No, we're not. That was just an illusion, <laughs> aka a uh, verbal illusion, like a lie. I don't lie. I just verbally elude. 